Wah-ha-ha, I sail beautiful people. So, labyrinths has been the energy all day yesterday. This town is labyrinthine. There's steps and there's hills and there's stone passages in between the houses. And there was a very strong energy I was picking up all day of the joy of the labyrinth. So rather than thinking of yourself as being lost, think of the pleasure of journeying down different avenues, challenges, things that can afford you some kind of difference and a joy and an awe. That was what I got yesterday. Even when I went visiting some rather disappointing places they just felt very calm they were just like this is not my energy i'll walk away from it and that's something we don't do we can get lost in the quagmire of mm, disappointment maybe and that wasn't the energy yesterday it really was about just saying well that's something I needed to see, that's something I needed to observe, that's something I needed to release. And that allows you to move on. So we open with towardness. And that's exactly this kind of energy. Is there a barbed wire fencing surrounding your life? Because this talks about thorny briars. This talks about the way in which your current thoughts are stopping frequencies from entering into your future to feed back into your now. And do you see them, do you get irritable with the cosmos, with spirit? There's an energy here which came out in one of the other readings about embracing change. Don't think you're fully formed don't think your personality is made and determined because that shortens the possibilities of joy and wonder from coming in. I think I said in one of the readings, if you think 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you would say you've changed. But would you say if I said, imagine going forwards a couple of decades, that you will be changed again and most people say no most people feel fully formed and i really don't i mean i've reached a point where i feel very comfortable and very healed but that very healing will bring me new experiences now which will transform me so let's see what we've got So we've got Aqua Regia, which is dragon's blood. This is dimension resolving. So every day that you wake up, you have the opportunity to be in a new dimension. It's not some grand, wonderful, epiphanal moment. It's an opportunity that's there every day that you return from the astral into your body. And every day that you're in the astral, every night, every time you sleep, whenever you sleep, that's when you vacate the body and the biome. And you allow them the chance to heal your physical cells, retune your coding so that you can wake in a different frequency. But there's an energy here just to remind you that if you don't go to sleep um, I wanted to say gratefully, but that always bothers me as a word somehow. It's very heavy with a lot of spiritual practices. Go to bed joyfully. Go to bed. I do. I love bed. I never used to like going to sleep, but now I adore going to sleep because it means my body gets to retune and I get to wake up and experience a new day in new frequencies because I've got new codings. So really, this is this energy, the opportunity daily, daily to transform your timelines, to transform the frequencies and the energies around you. It's 
So, to reach in your life force. Well, no. Your life force is always permanent, but it's how it resonates from within your cells that transforms. The aqua regia dissolves noble metals, but in this sense, it's talking about dissolving and resolving static frequencies, things that are not allowing new energies to come in, or not allowing your life force to connect with all of your cells in a new, more openly loving truth. Beautiful messaging. Oh, I nearly bent that card. So, anything else? <laughs> It's life force with life force. <laughs> oh, you see now that's really interesting. So this is the sun and this is radiating life force. That's the purpose of any journey is to, be, is to have greater singularity of clarity. This is the energy that's still, and it's not usually, but it's coming across as an energy struggling to find its voice. And this is an energy saying, I've arrived, I shine. So this is what's available to us. Look, it won't happen overnight. It will happen over many nights. It's a, it's a, a work in progress. And I, as I say, you know, you can feel completely healed and you can run into all kinds of energies that feel difficult, but it's your reaction to them that determines how you reach in yourselves to new patterning. Don't be bothered by anything that feels difficult. Just go, well, there's something that I'm retuning. And if I don't recognize it, how can my biome retune it? If I don't allow my interactions in the physical, yours, ours, then if you don't allow those reactions, it allows the biome to let go of that defensive trigger mechanism and so it can retune, it can reorganize the colony. So, two more runes. So this is the chance to begin walking in love, to begin walking with better intentions, more clarity in your life. But you have to choose to engage with your biome and your body and your cells Remembering that your consciousness is permanent, your body and your biome is not. And so you need to build a good relationship and walk lovingly in the real world. Let's just get a couple more cards and then I have to pack because I'm on the move again. It's a really nice rocking chair. <laughs> it doesn't rock very well. There we go. What do we end with? Purifying. Polishing our image. That's exactly what this is. Look. Polishing our image. Purifying our light. And it's cardinal earth. It's like you need, we all need, to accept our physical selves as being open to the opportunity to retune. We often think purely that spiritual journeys are some kind of consciousness. That's where they begin because that's where our energy is. But remember, we're also inhabiting ourselves, our physical bodies. And this is soul ablutions. That's the energy of me in the river that I shared with you the other day. This is to shine and it's emotional divination. So understanding how to work with your emotions, how to calm your emotions, so that as I say, every night when you go to sleep, you can be grateful for that opportunity 
to let go of the body that you inhabit with your consciousness, go into the astral and let your body and biome heal your physical cells so that then when you wake, you've been reaching, recoded and new energies can flow towards you. So, what's our beautiful people? I'm going to be on the move. I'll catch you later.